Good everyone, my name is Graphics. Today we want to solve a problem, and the problem goes like this. It says, using the dimension AB equals to 70 millimeter and AC equals to BD equals to 90 millimeter, to draw the following parabola, hyperbola, and locus. Right? So the first thing you do is you draw an horizontal line this way this way right and you pick a point on the horizontal line so let me say i am picking this point here right so i'll say this my point here should be a because we are told that a b is 70 millimeter so i'm going to measure my a b on that point there which is what 70 millimeter so from a to b is what is 70 millimeter right so i can that's my b here now we are now told that um ac is equals to b d is equals to 90. so one thing you come to your mind is that it says a b so is equals to what b d and that is what 90. so what will come to your mind is it is a rectangle right so I'm going to draw here, project this up, and I'll come here also. I'm going to what? Project this up this way. That again. So if I project it up, the height here, we told AB is 90. So I'm going to measure 90. As in AC is 90. So I'll measure 90 here. From here to 9, it's given as what? As 90. Is that again? Now, if I measure that 90, that will be my AC. Then the next one is what? BD. And we are told that AC and BD is equal. So I'm going to come here and I'm going to measure what? My line this way. I'm using a faint line. So this point here will be my point D. Is that okay? So let me remove this here. Now, this is what we have. Now, I'm going to replicate this in the other place. So I'm using this to construct my parabola. And I'll use it down to construct what my hyperbola. So what I will do is this. I'm going to measure the same AB I measured here. This is AB here. Right? And that is 70. I'll come at this point here. And I'm going to mark what? 70. Is that again? And this is my A. And this will be what? My B. And I'm going to project those two points upward this way. I'm doing them simultaneously. So I'll project it this way. Right? And I'll close up here. From here, up here is 90, just like this is said. So we have 90. Now, this will be my C, and this will be my D. So I have replicated the both of them. Right? They are both the same. Now, one of the conditions for you to draw an hyperbola or a parabola using rectangular method because it's a rectangle is that you're going to divide the longest side this is my longest side i'm going to divide it into 10 or into 8 depending on what you want to do so if i divide this into 10 into 10 i'll take using my line division method i'm going to draw this arc this line at any given angle let's see here this way and I'll start marking my 10 on that point. So if I mark, this will be one first point, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, nine, and what? Ten. So that will be the tenth point that we have here. Is that again? So let me move it to that point there. There is a 10th point that we have there. So I'm going to connect, since I'm dividing A to C, I'm going to connect from C to that last point here. Let me put it this way. From C to this last point here. So I'm going to connect from C to this last point here. This way. So once I've done it that way, right? Then I will start using my line division method. 
to connect it. Or if I don't want to use this, let me make use of my 45 degrees set square. And let me just join from here to here. You can see that? So once I join from there to there, so what I'm going to do is this. I'll place my compass here. So I'm going to connect these two points here. Right? I'll place my set square like this. And I'm going to connect these two points here this way. So once I've connected it, join it together with my pencil, I'll take a third party, which is this, and place it here. So since this is like this, I'll start moving this, this way. Start moving it this way to the next point. This is the next point here. I'll connect. I'll move this to the next point. This is the next point. I'll connect. I'll take this to the next point. This is the next point. I'll connect. Take this to the next point. This is the next point. And I'll continue doing that to the last point. Just like that. So this method I'm using is what we call the line division method. And if you want to know more on how to divide a line, right? You just click on this link at the top right corner here. So we'll move. So this is what we have. I have successfully divided it into equal parts and it's into 10. So I'll take the last, I'll assume this is one, remove one, two, two, three, three, four, four, five, five, right? Then the center here is this. So that center, I am going to project it. So in projecting that center, I will have this this way. This is my center here, right? So I'll project all those lines downward. So just use this one to represent to do that. No, that is my center there. So I'll project all this line downward. Project all the line downward from here to here. We we'll keep moving. Keep moving until we successfully project all those points right so i will call this point to be my point five this will be four this will be three this will be two this will be one and that will be zero here will be also four three two one zero is that the key now what i will now do next is that i will take my rule I also divide here into five. So once you divide here into 10, you divide here into five. Once you divide here into eight, you divide here into four. So it depends on what you want. So I'll draw here, I'll do the same thing here also. Draw a line at any given angle, right? Take my compass and mark on that point. This is point one, point two, Point three, point four, and what? Point five. And I'll take my set square and connect two of those three points. I then connect these two points here this way and take any one of my choice. Let's connect this to this, this to this, and um. I will take the other one and I'll place it at this base here. You can see that? So I'll keep moving this until I attain what I want. So we'll be joining all those points. Join all those points. Join all those points. This is what we have here. Right? So what I'm simply doing here is that this will now be my five point a will be my point five right so this is point five here will be four here will be three here will be two here will be one and here will be what zero so i'm starting from here i'm assuming this my point c is five 
right four three two one zero so it depends on what you want that okay now we move forward i will now generate my points from here to the next point here without holding a line so with the help of my set square i'll place it on my t square and i'll go to each of those points so this is point one i'm going to mark here i'll come to point two I'm going to mark here too. Come to point three. I'll do the same thing. Come to point four. I'll do the same thing. You can see that? And I will generate all my points from the center. This is five. Five is center from this point here. And I'll reject it to those points. So this will go to four. This will go to what? 3. This will go to 2. This will go to 1. Then we'll have this. I'll come here so I'll do the same thing too from that center point. This will go this. 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 So what I will just do here, because I want my parabola to face this side, right? So that is why I'm starting my moving my point from this side. If I want to face here, I will start from here. So I will start. Here is the topmost. Topmost first line the second line will meet you can see where line four meet four also when line four here also meet four the next one when line three meet three when line two meet two when line one meet one and where zero meet zero the same thing will happen here just like that and we're having this this way so now use my french curve i will now join those points together so if i place it this way i'll join those points together i can just take first of all take this um, three and just take this this way i see that and i'll come here also i can take this one too and know what you want. Can see that? Then I can use this to connect this this way. From here. Can see that? Then connect the rest. Doing this. So this is what we call a parabola. Now we want to do that of an hyperbola. So the same thing will happen. We are going to divide here into equal parts, right? Which I've showed you here. We have divide this, right? Then the center will now be. We start. Let's see. This is um point zero, right? So we'll say this is zero, this will be one, this will be two, this will be three, this will be four, this will be five. Again, four, three, two, one, then zero. Right? Now that center point which is five, I'm going to project it upward this way. Right, and I'll pick a point. The point I'll make will be twice the distance of this rectangle here. So if I come here, from here to this point is this. Then I'll come here and I'm going to mark. You can see that? So all those points, I'm going to read, read them, draw the points to touch 
each of all these points here so from this i'll be drawing them this way you can see that this is an hyperbola that i'm about to draw now so i'll draw it this way i'll draw them this way i'll draw them this way i'll draw them this way and this way And this way and this way and this way right so this is what we have here now if you've done that in this one we divided here into five right here also divide here into five so i'll just do that since i've shown you how to do this so i'll just do this briefly so i've done that right so if i've done that automatically this will be my five here. Yeah? Oh, we'll just leave that for now. So we'll come back to this. Now I'll now project this point to this point here. So this line is equivalent to this line. This line two is equivalent to this point. Here also equivalent to this point. And here also equivalent to this point. This is what we have here. Is that okay? So what I'm going to be doing is this is the center point here, and I'm going to generate it to touch each of all those sides. From here, touch the center here. From here to touch the center here. From here to touch the center. Here also the center. Then we come here too. We we'll do the same thing. Same thing. Same thing. The same thing. The same thing. Can see that? Now we'll not start. If I start from here, this is the first point right then i move again second line second point you can see that so this is it here then third line third point you can see that then we have fourth line fourth point this is this then fifth line fifth point you must not repeat any points in each in a single line so i will just join all this together this way can just start from here first of all. You can join these two first. If I do that, this is coming like this. Then the next one will be for this. Right? You can just I'll close it up this way. Then I'll come here also the same thing. The first, second line, third line, this. Can see that or this point here? I'm going to join them together from here. This point this way. Okay. You see that? So this is what we have here. So we have successfully constructed the hyperbola and the parabola. Now the third thing you said is the locus. And these are the locus. When you connect those points, it means you have what? You've done the locus, connecting of those points, right? So if you have found this video helpful, please don't forget to click on the subscribe button. Thanks for watching.